While your subjective notes in your training log give you important data about the qualitative state of your recovery, there are some metrics you can use to quantify your recovery. One is resting heart rate. This one's easy to capture. Take your pulse manually each morning before you get out of bed, and ideally when you've woken without a blaring alarm. A sudden jump in resting heart rate of 10 beats or so may indicate that your body isn't adequately recovered or that you're getting sick. Dial back your training on that day. The orthostatic test is slightly more complicated but also useful. It takes just a few minutes. Wearing your heart rate monitor, take your heart rate as you rest on the couch or bed. Once you have a baseline, stand up and watch as your heart rate shifts. Note the number at 15 seconds after standing, it'll spike then, as well as at 90 seconds and two minutes after standing. Athletes on the verge of overtraining exhibit a higher average heart rate than normal in the period between 90 and 120 seconds after standing, which is evidence of strain on the sympathetic nervous system, meaning the body is not adequately recovered. Track yourself over time and perform the test at the same time of day and the same stage in your week. Technology offers even more sophisticated ways to measure recovery. Some sports watches, such as the Polar RS800 and the Sunto T6, use heart rate variability, the difference in time between individual heartbeats to indicate the state of recovery in an athlete. You can also use computer modeling, such as Training Peaks WKO Plus's Training Stress Score, to track the effect of each workout. Ultimately, the most useful quantitative measurement of your recovery will be the one you can repeat regularly so that you amass a history of what's normal for you. That lets you catch an abnormal reading and correct by resting so that you can work to your full potential.